Hello, my name is Alan J. Hesse. I'm an educator, an author, and a conservation biologist. I'm here to talk to you about climate change. You might know about the comic books, The Adventures of Captain Polo, which are all about climate change, told through the adventures of my good friend here, Captain Polo. Say hello, Polo. So, we're here to talk about climate change and... Oh, what's that? What do you mean, a story? You want me to read the story? He wants me to read you a story. About climate change, I suppose. Okay. Which one do you have in mind, Polo? Oh yes, that's a good idea. The story of Ventures of Captain Polo at the North Pole. Let's get started. Captain Polo at the North Pole. As I read this story, watch out for those blue colored words. They all refer to climate change terms and at the end of the book, there's a whole glossary where Captain Polo explains each word in detail. Our story begins at the top of the world, the North Pole. The North Pole has lots of snow and ice covering parts of the sea, but the North Pole is in trouble. The snow and ice is melting. Why is this happening? Let's find out. Our story begins with Captain Polo out and about on the ice. What have we here? Polo looks very interested in that walrus. The walrus is sound asleep. Polo needs to be really, really quiet so that the walrus doesn't hear him and escape. Suddenly, a loud noise wakes up the walrus and quick as a flash, splash! The walrus escapes into the sea. Ah, just look at this slushy ice. What a disaster, says a loud voice behind the slope. Who could it be? It's Santa Claus. Humph, grunts Santa. A polar bear? What are you doing here? I live here, answers Polo indignantly. You scared off my walrus, cries Polo, who was very annoyed about the walrus escaping. Walrus? What walrus? Who cares about your old walrus? growls Santa. I've got my own problems, I'll have you know. Suddenly, Santa stops talking and stares at Polo. Wait a minute, he exclaims. You're that bear, the one who keeps talking about climate change. I've seen you on TV. Santa is right. Captain Polo is actually quite famous. He's traveled all around the world and he's been on TV several times. After all, how many bears do you know who can walk on two legs and talk? Polo is pleased. That's right, that's me, he says. I'm finding out what to do about climate change. Climate change is what's causing my problem, says Santa with a glum face. Christmas is coming and the ice is melting. I'm worried my sled won't take off. Do you know why the ice is melting? asked Polo. Of course I do, exclaimed Santa irritably. It's because of all those greenhouse gases warming up the earth, he continues. Too many trucks, cars, aeroplanes, factories, all pouring out nasty fumes and causing pollution cries Santa angrily. That's right, all those emissions trap the heat in the atmosphere, just like in a greenhouse, agrees Polo. Polo and Santa are right. No wonder the ice is melting. It's like covering the earth with a huge blanket, explains Polo. All I know is this, this global warming is melting the ice. Without ice and snow on the ground, how can I take off with my sleigh and deliver my presents? Wails Santa in despair. Then Polo has an idea. Tell you what, he says, let's do a, a practice takeoff to see what happens. Maybe it will work. Santa thinks for a minute. Hmm. All right then, I suppose it's worth a try, he says doubtfully. Polo helps Santa prepare the sleigh and make some final adjustments. There you go, Santa, says Polo. 
ready for takeoff. All right, says Santa, climbing aboard. Santa shouts to his reindeer, Vixen, Comet, Prancer, Dasher, up, up and away! The sleigh starts to move as the reindeer dash forward, when suddenly, oh no, the sleigh has fallen through the melting ice. Santa is so upset he has a fit. It's not fair! How will I deliver presents in time for Christmas if I can't use my sleigh? He bawls. Santa calms down after a while and starts mending his sleigh. You can't give up, Santa, says Polo. Think of all the children on Christmas morning. You've got to deliver those presents. Hey, I've got another idea. Ha! Oh, really? What is it then? grunts Santa grumpily as he bangs away with a hammer. Polo explains his new idea. We'll build a ramp for you to take off from, he says excitedly. That way, you'll get up in the air before the ice has time to melt. Santa grunts reluctantly. Hmm, well, all right then, worth a try, I suppose. Polo sets to work, and after about half an hour, has managed to push enough snow and other together to make a ramp. Santa has been supervising. Over there! Put more snow down there! Come on, hurry up! He shouts bossily. I don't have all day, you know! At last, Santa is satisfied. Right, off we go! This had better work! He cries, jumping into his loaded sleigh. Woof, thinks Polo. That was hard work. I hope it does the trick. But once again, the sleigh crashes through the slushy, melting snow. Froof. Santa is beside himself. Woohoo! He wails. I'll never get this thing off the ground. It's all over. I'm finished. There'll be no more Christmas presents ever. After a while, Santa calms down. He and Polo sit by Santa's special solar-powered cooking stove and have a comforting hop cup of hot chocolate. It's Christmas Eve and it's getting late. Polo and Santa still don't know how to get Santa's sleigh to take off. What are they going to do? They are very miserable indeed. Suddenly, two Inuit appear. They are Polo's old friends, Akut and Ikut. Hey, look! exclaims Akut. It's Captain Polo, and he's with Santa Claus. By blubber, you're right, Akut, cries Ikut. That's Polo, all right. I'd recognize that hat anywhere. Let's go and say hello. What a lovely surprise for Polo. Akut and Ikut, he exclaims. Look, Santa. These are my Inuit friends. Santa warmly greets Polo's friends. Any friends of Polo are friends of mine. Welcome, welcome. Would you like some of my special hot chocolate? Santa pours another round of his famously delicious hot chocolate. It's true that the ice is melting in the Arctic, says Akut, while Santa fills his cup. The melting ice is making it very hard for us to hunt and survive broods Ikut. That's right, I have that problem too. The ice often breaks away under my feet, exclaims Polo. People far away from here causing global warming continue to act as if nothing was wrong, cries Polo. That's because very few people actually decide to change their ways, says Santa. When people think that nobody else is doing anything, they think to themselves. Why should I change if nobody else is? If everyone thinks this way, change doesn't happen and things just get worse. Polo thinks quietly for a minute. We need to help people understand that everyone needs to show the example and make even just a little change in the way they live, exclaims Polo. If we could only deliver those presents, we could leave a note or something in every house we visit. 
Akut suddenly has an idea. The problem is, you can't get the sleigh off the ground before the ice melts, right? He asks. That's right, answers Santa. So what if we attach our dogs to your reindeer? That would increase your speed and get you up in the air before the ice melts. Polo thinks it might work. Akut's right, Santa, he says. It's our only chance. We have to try it. Santa doesn't look too convinced, but... Hmm... Well, it's almost night and it's Christmas Eve. So you're right about one thing. It's our last chance to get this sleigh up in the air so I can deliver those presents. Let's give it all we've got, he says firmly. In a flurry of excitement, everyone gets the sleigh ready for the final try. If all the children in the world are to get a Christmas present from Santa this year, Akut's idea must succeed. I'll push, cries Polo. I'll cut the dogs loose at the last moment, calls Akut. Good luck everyone, we'll only have one shot, this had better work, says Santa, jumping into the sleigh. Off they go. Come on Prancer, Vixen, Comet, get up there! yells Santa to his reindeer. Mush, mush, come on dogs, come on, shouts Akut. The extra pull of the dogs and Polo pushing make the sleigh move much faster than before. With a loud whoosh, it quickly leaves the slushy ice and lifts off into the sky. Whoosh! Ho, 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 shouts Santa in delight. It's working, we've done it. They've done it! Hooray! shouts Ikut as the sleigh rises fast into the night sky. Santa will deliver the present after all! Yay! I wonder what mine will be! cries Akut. Merry Christmas, Ikut! Merry Christmas, Akut! Woof woof! bark the dogs. Akut managed to loosen the dogs and fall back to the ground at the last moment, but Polo decided to hang on instead. Hooray! Merry Christmas, my friends! Thanks for your help! He cries. Ho ho ho! Boom Santa. You were right, Polo. We must never give up. Off go Santa and Polo to deliver presents. What will Santa leave you, I wonder? Any ideas? Whatever it is, be sure to write a thank you letter afterwards. Santa went to a lot of trouble this year. Santa and, Flo and Polo fly over a small town late on Christmas Eve. Everyone is asleep in their beds. Here's our first house, exclaims Santa. The sleigh swoops expertly over the roof of the house. I'll just pop this present down the chimney, says Polo. There we go. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 booms Santa again. Next morning, it's Christmas Day. In the first house Santa and Polo visited the night before, a little girl called Sally is very excited. Yay! Santa came! she cries. Mummy, Daddy, look! Santa left the present by the chimney! Sally grabs a present and is about to open it when Dad spots a mysterious note. Wait a minute, Sally, says Dad. There's a note, look. Let's see what it says. A handwritten note from Santa. Sally and her parents have never received a note from Santa before. Sally takes the note and reads it aloud. Dear Sally, before you open this present, I want you and your family to make a promise to planet Earth. Promise to do at least one thing all year to help reduce climate change. Merry Christmas. Love from Santa. What a great idea! exclaims Sally. Come on, Mum and Dad, let's do this! Dad thinks for a minute and clears his throat. <coughs> Dear planet Earth, he says solemnly, from now on, we promise to drive around less and use the bus, walk or cycle as much as possible. And I also promise to plant one tree every month of the year, cries Sally. 
And that's exactly what they did. Merry Christmas. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. This is the glossary. This is Captain Polo's climate change classroom. I won't read it out to you, uh, but I suggest that you read through it in your own time. Uh, get your teacher to help you. And uh, I'm sure you'll learn quite a lot of interesting things right on this page. And just to finish off, look what we've got. Climate change resolutions from Captain Polo. These are four easy things you and your family can do all year to help reduce global warming. Number one, if you live in a city, you can use public transport, cycle or just walk whenever possible. Number two, try to grow in your own vegetables if you have a back garden. Number three, switch the lights off. When you're not using them, turn everything off. Everyone can do that. And number four, get your parents to change your light bulbs. There are three kinds of light bulbs, but the ones you want are called LED light bulbs. And lastly, join the Captain Polo Fan Club and download your free climate change board game. Here's the link. You'll have great fun with this game and you'll learn even more about climate change. And in case you're interested in my other books, here's a whole Captain Polo series right here. You can see the link. You can see the QR code. There are three books. All of them are in, are in ebook right now. But I'm going to get them up into paperback as well. And the fourth book is in the making. I'm hoping to release it uh, by the end of February. So stay tuned for that. And uh, you've got this very same book that we've just read, Captain Polo at the North Pole. That's in an e-book and Kindle and as well as a paperback. And then, you know, what's really exciting for Christmas is you've got the Captain Polo Christmas activity book. That's full of puzzles, games, all kinds of um, interesting things and games to play as a family. And uh, kids as young as six years old can play as well. So get them involved and have a lot of fun with that book. And then there's the other, the other cartoon comic books uh, that can teach you, uh, you know, about Charles Darwin and the theory of evolution or natural selection. And then another one about all kinds of uh, the animals of the Amazon forest and what they get up to. All of these are comic books. Uh, I hope you enjoy them and uh, just check them all out on the website. I hope to see you soon. Yes. What? You thought I got the voices wrong? Nonsense. No, I thought it was great. I thought the story was great, didn't you? Anyway, I'm going to talk to you later. Now then, don't forget, I have got a surprise coming out. Um, on the 27th of February 2021, the new book of the Captain Polo series is going to be released, and it's full of crazy adventures. This time, Captain Polo is again back out on the sailing boat, on the seas, meeting all kinds of crazy people and characters, lots of adventure, lots of fun, and also more lessons about climate change. So don't forget to watch out for that. Um, right, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on our social media. Both Polo and I have our separate social media channels. We'd love to see you up there. Polo has a fan club. Uh, you've seen that at the back of the video and the storytelling, so do follow him on that, and I hope to see you on the inside. Merry Christmas. <laughs>